Hi, it's Ursula from EasyScraps.com and today I'm going to show you my tip for making pre-flocked paper. Say that ten times fast. Um, here it is and we're going to be using Jar O Flock and some glue. I'm going to be using gel medium, um, just the soft gel by Golden, but you can use regular, even Elmer's glue. And typically when you make flocked paper, you slap your glue, you know, spread some glue out on the um, paper, add your flock, but a lot of times it comes out chunky. So I'm going to show you how to get that smoother look. Um, ignore the fingernail. Testing to see if it was dry in the middle of the project. Um, but I'm going to show you my tip for that. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy this video. Hi, I'm back. And so I just grabbed a just a piece of scrap white cardstock. And I'm going to take my soft gel medium. And you can use a paintbrush if you like. I'm just going to use a palette knife because that's what I have hanging around. And you're just going to spread out your glue. You want to try and get somewhat smooth because you want this. That's the whole point of this video is we're trying to make a smooth piece of paper. Okay, that's pretty good. Then here's the trick. A sifter. Those of you who know me know I am not the best cook, and so I don't do a lot of cooking, and so I actually don't use my sifter very often, so I snagged it for craft projects, and it works great with the flock. So you're basically just going to dump your flock in the sifter, and then sift over your paper. And it just gives a nice, more even, smoother coverage. And you're just going to keep doing that until you cover your glued area. Sometimes if you bang it, you don't have to keep adding more. And that's all there is to it. And then you're just going to let it dry and you'll end up with a much smoother flocked paper. Thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time. Hi, I'm back. I wanted to just show you a couple of things. First of all, it's kind of hard in this lighting. Um, you'll end up with flock still in the sifter. If you want to save some of that flock, I usually just take my palette knife and kind of scrape around, dump it onto a scrap piece of paper, and then I can just, ooh, I don't know if I can do this on camera, <laughs> funnel it back into the jar so you can save some of that flock. And then if you're going to sift it again, obviously those chunks will be sifted through. And then I just wanted to show you a cutout that I did using the dry, the other sheet that was already dry of the flocked paper. How cute is that? Thanks for joining me. See you next time.